Hey everyone, welcome back. Great to have you. Today we're going to be looking at the G major chord. Let's get started. Okay, so the G major chord is weird. We're going to be using four fingers. I, I start every video off by saying like, this chord's weird, this chord's tough. There's always some sort of, uh, there's always some little, uh, you know, explanation of each chord and why it's difficult or whatever. But anyway, okay, let's get into the G chord. First finger is going to go on the second fret of the fifth string. Okay? Middle finger is going to go on the third fret of the sixth string. Our ring finger is going to go on the third fret of the second string. And our pinky is going to go on the third fret of the first string. That's all six strings if I go through. Okay. Now, just like our other chords, thumb placement is key. So. If it needs to be a little bit higher, you could see mine poking over the top. That's totally fine. The other thing is where it is, if it's over here, as you slide it across. Find the position that's comfortable for you. Every guitar is a little different. The, radi the fretboard radius itself is different. Some are wider, some are not. The actual neck shape, some are D-shape, C-shape, V-shape. There's a lot of variety in the instrument. That's one of the best parts. You can find things that work for you and your hand size specifically. So this is our first time using four fingers. And when you think about the G major chord, I want you to think about a division between your first and second finger and your third and fourth. They're essentially working on their own. They're separate. They're grouped in pairs here. So one and two are up here and three and four down here. Okay, great job everyone, that's our G major chord. I'll see you in the next video.